have spent thousands of dollars in an attempt to find the best red light therapy for my Johnson. And in today's video, I'm gonna tell you which ones were the best and which ones were the worst because some of them were absolutely scams and you should absolutely avoid buying them. So if you don't wanna waste your money, watch this video till the end. Now, let me turn off the lights first. All right, so first of all, why the hell would you apply red light onto your Johnson? Well, I'm glad you asked because red light has a lot of benefits for your D. And some of those benefits are, number one is that it increases the production of nitric oxide, which is basically the fuel for your erections. So if you're trying to get your erections as full and as hard as possible, red light might be a great idea. The second reason is that it speeds up recovery. So here on the channel, we talk a lot about extenders and pumps and about making your D bigger. Now, if you are stretching your D, you are causing micro tears. And what red light does is it speeds up the recovery so you can get much faster gains. And speaking of stretching, just like when you go to gym, you warm up first so you can move better, the same thing applies to your D. When you apply heat from the red light onto your D, it expands better and in return, you get more growth. Number three is it supports cellular growth. Now, obviously, when you are stretching your D, that's exactly what you're looking for. And it does that by increasing the ATP production, which may help enhance tissue expansion when combined with consistent stretching. Now, I don't know about you, but for me personally, those benefits are a no brainer. And that's why I decided to integrate red light therapy into my stretching sessions. Now, there are three factors I look at when choosing a red light. The most important factor I look at when choosing a red light, and that is effectiveness. Now, all those lights are red. However, they are not made equal. Some of the lights are just red LEDs and have no actual effect on your body. And you can tell that by feeling them. And what I mean by that is some of the lights, you turn them on, you absolutely feel nothing. And that is usually a bad sign. So when you're getting a proper panel like this one right here, the moment you turn it on, you feel the heat and you feel the light coming from it. However, some of these other options that I'm gonna mention right now have no actual effect. In my opinion, you should absolutely avoid them. Number two, and that is ease of use. Again, those are things that you're probably gonna use every day or every second day. So you want them to be as convenient as possible. And number three, and that is build quality. Again, those things cost thousands of dollars and when you spend so much money on such a device, you want it to last for years. Now, let me start by telling you which ones, in my opinion, you should avoid. A couple of lights that, in my opinion, are borderline scam, First one is this right here, even though it looks like a miniature version of this big red light panel, in reality, it does not have any effect. So the red light coming out of it, you simply cannot feel it. And even though I really wanted this light to work because it's such a great idea, it's so portable, it has battery built into it, the build quality is amazing on this one, but in reality, it does not have any effect. It's basically just red light coming out of this panel and you don't feel anything coming out of it. The second one, and that was a Kickstarter campaign that I backed and I'm not gonna mention their name because I don't wanna give them any exposure. And again, the idea behind it is really great is that a light that you can just put around your D and it's portable, it's easy to use. However, in reality, the LEDs they put on this one are so weak that you simply cannot feel them. Also, it's kind of plasticky and I don't feel like it's going to last for a very long time. And not to mention the price. This tiny thing right here costed me about $300 shipped and I got no effect whatsoever from it. So I would totally avoid it. Now let's talk about lights that you might want to consider getting. If you don't care about portability whatsoever, and perhaps you are using a hanger, you're stretching while you're standing, then you really cannot go wrong with this big panel right here from Infraready. 
I had this panel for almost two years now. I really like it. I was using it actually on my upper part of the body. However, it also works great if you're just gonna be hanging and you're gonna be standing while you're stretching. It is a bit loud and it's also quite expensive. So I remember paying around a thousand dollars for it. However, it feels like it's something that is going to last for a very long time. Now, if you're going to use a light that you're only going to apply on your D, I have other options right here. Another super strong and effective light that is also semi-portable, that is this light from Chroma. And the reason I say it's semi-portable because the light in and of itself is actually portable. However, the cable and adapter that it comes with, they are pretty much the same size, if not bigger than the light itself. However, it's definitely more portable than a big panel like this one. Now you could probably rig this light either under the table, or you could just place it on the table right here while you're stretching, apply it onto your Johnson. However, it doesn't come with any of those options by default. So to be honest, it's not the most practical light. And in a second, I'm gonna mention the one that is the most practical. Now, if you're looking for a super budget friendly option, I have a couple of options for you. Number one is you could just buy this Philips bulb. It costs about $20. However, the downside with this Philips light is that it's super hot. And by super hot, I mean you could burn yourself if you apply it for more than 10 seconds. Also, the bulb itself gets super hot. So if you touch it by mistake, you could also burn yourself. So to be honest, the idea is great. However, I ended up avoiding this light. And don't get me wrong, you could probably mount it somewhere and make sure that there is a good distance between you and the light. However, there are much better options. So another option that is safer and that is this no brand LED bulb. And the cool part about this bulb is it's also pretty affordable, about $20. It's a miniature version of the big panel, very effective, you can absolutely feel it. However, again, it's not as practical as the last option. Because with this one, you really have to mount it and stand in front of it. And if you're stretching for an entire hour, I don't think you wanna stand in front of it for the whole hour. Which brings me to the option I ended up using most of the time. It's inexpensive, it's practical, and it gets the job done. And that is this red light strap right here. And the reason I ended up using it all the time is because it's so convenient to use. So whether you are stretching with an extender like Epic Extender, whether you are stretching with a pulley under the table or you are hanging, you can simply wrap it around your D, click one button, it turns on, it connects to USB. So you could basically connect it to your laptop or anything else and it really works. So sure, it may not be as strong as this big panel right here, but considering it's only $50, and considering the fact that you could just strap it around your D while you're stretching, turn it on and just forget about it. I honestly don't really mind the fact that it takes two to three minutes for it to warm up. And believe it or not, this $50 strap is more effective than this $300 Kickstarter red light. So for me personally, this red light strap is my number one option, especially because I travel quite a bit and I really cannot carry any of those heavy lights. In any ways, you could choose whatever light works for your lifestyle. I'm gonna keep links to each and every one of them in the description of this video below. However, if you have any other light that you would like me to check out, also let me know in the comment section below. In any ways, I thank you for watching and I'm gonna see you in the next video. Bye-bye.